So this is my old gaming laptop. It has our RTX 3050 Ti and a Ryzen 7 5800H. And today I'm gonna be answering the question, is it worth it in 2024 to still have this gaming laptop? With this laptop, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the settings. We're running Windows full screen, 1920 by 1080 with the frame rate at 360 on performance mode. And we are also at view distance is on epic and textures is at high. Nice are also on low and yeah, 3D res is on 102. We're running about 120 FPS lost. But let's go ahead and go into a game right now and see how much FPS we run. Load into a game, we're actually gonna go ahead and click FN and Q and turn on the red mode, which this is the maximum performance mode. This will give you max power unlock, which I believe is like over 100 watts for the GPU. And then yeah, we should be getting really good FPS. So right now we're running about 230 FPS, about I don't know if you can see it from this distance, but like, honestly, even while free building, what are we running while free building? Like 190, and I have it. I have the the laptop tilted up a little bit just to have more airflow, so that way it doesn't overheat or anything like that. But honestly, like for a 3050 Ti, running over 240 FPS. Like yo, this feels like really smooth. For a thousand dollar laptop, thousand dollar laptop, this is not bad. Not bad at all. Something about 240 to 300 FPS about. It just depends honestly on what kind of situation we're in, but honestly it's not too bad though. So if you hear a little loud noise, it's probably the fan on this laptop because the fan is pretty loud because this laptop does get pretty hot since it's a mid-range laptop. So and you know laptops, they just usually get really hot. But anyways, let's go ahead and go back to the lobby and test it out in a game. I'm just gonna load up into a tilted Zone Wars right now just to test it out and see how good it is and see how much FPS we get inside the game. So as you can see right here, the core clock, I have it a little bit undervolted and then the memory clock, I have plus 200. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and test the FPS and see how it is. So right now, just kind of walking around, we're getting about 140, which honestly isn't too bad. And I don't even have the fans ramped up all the way. Usually I would. Um, but for this test, I don't want it all the way up just because it'll be super loud, but it's worth it. So right now running about 120 FPS about. I don't know why it says that it's stuck at 12 watts. It's kind of weird. I think it's glitched though. Because it should not be at 12 watts. Maybe 7. Let's go, baby. Alright. So we're getting about 130, 140 FPS. Not too bad. Gonna box up. I'm gonna get as many angles as I can. It's kind of hard to see on a laptop screen. I'm not gonna lie, but overall the FPS is definitely, definitely uh, playable. Nice shot there. Let's go, baby. Shooting any shots on this kid? I was gonna edit out, turns out we didn't. It's all right. So I'm actually, this game is it's running really, really smooth. The CPU right now is at 80C at 4.1 gigahertz, which is on par with some, with, a de with a desktop CPU, honestly. Except voltage wise, or watts wise, it's running 30 watts, but you know, it can't run the same wattage as a desktop GPU, as we all know. But it's using about nine gigs of RAM, and this is on performance mode, so. Do not get 8 gigs of RAM anymore. It's just not worthy. I mean, you can still use it, but you'll definitely run into FPS issues. 80? Nice shot. Oh, this kid's weird. Yeah, it's GG's. So actually, right now, I have the fan speed all the way up. We're running about 80 Celsius yet again. This is with the fans all the way up. Which honestly, 80C is not too bad for Fortnite. 
Now the DC is only pulling about like 20 watts. 20 to 30 watts sometimes. But I mean, this is definitely playable though. This is definitely playable. I would definitely recommend to have your fans all the way up just because it helps dramatically with the temperatures and it makes it to where you have way less FPS drop. Like it was a little bit laggy at the start because of, because of the temperatures, I'm pretty sure. So I just had to turn it down. Yeah, bro, I don't know what you're doing. Come on, bro. Bro, I just have a dude, like, arrow man, bro. You are not him, little bro. Dude, I'm getting lobby sprayed. Like, what is this, bro? <laughs> Trying to do a benchmark, can't even do that. Yep, I'm dead. Geesh. Yo, there's... I'm done for. Yep, GG's. So right now we're just gonna load up into a regular solo match game and see how the FPS is in actual battle royale. All right, so right now we're inside the lobby and we're running about 100 to 120 FPS because this is the lobby, so the lobby is like extremely hard to run. I'm just trying to load in all the people. But overall though, I mean, it feels smooth. We're running like 130 FPS about. Definitely could be better. Um, it's definitely not the best, but let's go ahead and turn on this on. All right, so right now we're running 80 C, 83 Celsius inside the lobby before we load in. 46 C on the GPU. GPU is not pushing anything, so Fortnite is definitely CPU bound right now. Using that Ryzen 7 to its core. All right, so right now on the bus, we are running about 250 to 260 FPS. Let's go ahead and jump out. Major FPS drop right there, saw that. Right now we're running 170, about going down to Grimgate. So let's just go ahead and go down and uh, see what happens. I noticed like whenever it's really, really trying to load in things, like the FPS definitely drops a lot and it definitely suffers, but after it loads in things, like it's definitely not the worst. So I think I hear someone nearby. Yep. Let's go ahead. Uh, GG's to bro. So honestly, I will say, after a little bit of playing the season, the FPS honestly gets better. It gets better over time. Like right now, I'm running like 230 to 240 FPS, and I wasn't running this good of FPS at all. So it definitely does get better. I think the game has to... Um, save some of the files like graphics files wise and stuff but after it does that though it's set like it is smooth as butter and i have the fans all the way up so you know i'm getting as much air as possible and have the um laptop standing a little bit so that way the fans do not have, well the fans have air jump on the guy right now Oh, GG's, good IRL. Bro got murked. Let's go get his loot. GG's. That was a smooth fight, though. No FPS drops at all. Surprisingly. Let's go ahead and get this bunker. Oh, lady. Eliminated everyone over here, so now we can get the bunker. W freaking loot. Go, lady. I don't know if I should take the... Oh yeah, we're definitely taking this. Let's see this right here. Enforce it. Now we'll take this. Yo, all this loot to myself. Let's go get. Oh my god. Yo. I just got the Iron Warrior, the legendary one. Yo, that's crazy. What the heck? Yo, my loot is so good right now. Dude, this game is so dead. If we can find anyone using this car, honestly, I think we will pretty quickly. God. Another person. Well, he's not that good, though. I'm running away. Dude, I hear him, but he has a freaking car, dude. Yeah, let me get shots off. Get shots off. Huh? 
how far away is he? Can I do that 100 tank turn? All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get some more mats. I'm gonna go get that. I'm gonna go get that kill. end of the video guys thank you so much for watching honestly this laptop still in 2024 is super super good thousand dollar laptop 3050 ti 5750800h it's definitely good and it has integrated graphics for absolutely any of your needs but if you want to pick up this laptop i'm gonna have it linked below i think that it's definitely worth it even still till this day it runs a little hot but that's with most laptops as we all know but yeah I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, take care, and don't forget to use credit code SWITCHY in the item shop. And yeah, peace out.